Well, I had some experience doing that prior to the Fulbright, which helped. I taught English at a high school in uh, Ambatu Finanjana as a Peace Corps volunteer from 2007 to 2009. Uh, and, and from that experience, I knew that Malagasy students were very motivated in general and very motivated to learn English. So I came in expecting that same level of motivation from my students. Uh, what I wasn't expecting was that their level of English would be so high. I was amazed at the kinds of conversations we could have in, in, in my different classes about American studies, and, you know, cross-cultural points about American culture and Malagasy culture, uh, points about philosophy of language or linguistics. And I, I was having conversations similar to what I'd have with college students in America. So I was really surprised that Um, I think from our very first meeting uh, with my master's level students, we were talking about um, Malagasy culture, and going into it, I, I knew a, I knew a good deal about Fubagasi and and the Malagasy language from my time as a Peace Corps volunteer. But some of it I'd forgotten. It'd been a while um, since I was there as a Peace Corps volunteer. It'd been seven years, so they reminded me of some things. Uh, but we talked about you know uh, Fiavanana. Uh, Gasi. The best thing I have are the memories of you know discussions we were we would have in class, um, the the camaraderie that that was built up, the jokes that we shared you know inside or outside of class, getting together outside of class too. Uh, those are the things that I think I'll cherish the most, and I think the. The physical souvenirs they gave me will, will help, help spark those memories.